Hey, what's this? New fashion statement, Bren? Very interesting. It's for Rocky. Uh-huh. Although you could use it more. Oh. Wow. I didn't realize I was dogging it these days. No, just straying a bit. Ah. So is it Kelly you're slipping away with every night? Oh, you'd really love to see her and Dylan break up, wouldn't you? Me? I only want what's best for you. Mm-hmm. Sorry, it's not Kelly. I don't really think so. You left behind your new cologne when you went off with her last weekend. Don't you have any ex-fiancés to harass? Brandon, it's obvious that you're seeing someone serious. You promised me that I would be the first to know. Did I? Well, actually, you're going to be the second. Kelly already knows. Thanks a lot. Hey, I'm sorry. I had to tell her she's been covering for me. Why do you need a cover? <sighs> because I've been seeing Lucinda, OK? Lucinda? As in Lucinda Nicholson, my teacher? The same. <laughs> One decaf. Ah, the new condor. I see that the animal rights issue made front page news. Yeah, it would seem the trustees are voting whether or not to ban animal testing in all the university labs. Yeah, Donna and Brenda are really getting into the thick of it. So where do you stand, testing or no testing? Well, I don't know. I think equating the death of broiler chickens to Schindler's List is a little extreme, but a lot of it's cruel and unnecessary. Did the article on Brandon come out yet? No, but they have some lovely candid shots of your weekend there. That that was taken at a square dance. Mm, how many dosy -si does did you and your partner do? Please. Well, you do take a lot of what Lucinda Nicholson says to heart. And Cal, we both know the woman defines monogamy as jumping into the sack with one person at a time. I don't get it. Why do you have all this animosity towards Lucinda? I'm just kidding, Cal. No, I don't think so. In fact, I think that the real reason you don't want to finance her documentary is because she is a strong woman with a feminist point of view and you can't handle it. Yeah. Can you picture this? Me standing there quaking in the shadow of Lucinda Nicholson's gargantuan feminist intellect. Look, all I know is last week you loved her proposal. And this week, I decided not to back the project. I have the right to change my mind. Yes, you do. But let's just have her over for dinner and we'll talk this whole thing out. Kel. If you still don't want to back the film, I will understand. But if we don't give her a second chance, she's just going to think we're a bunch of kids, and I wouldn't be able to face her again. I don't know. Please. You're cheating. Mm -hmm. You know that. Ah, thank you. Hey, I thought you were Walsh's girl. Brandon and I are just friends. Really? Yeah. Last weekend, it looked like you guys were practically swapping spit. Why don't you do the planet a favor? Call Dr. Kevorkian. No, seriously, man, if playing golf is so painful for you, how come you entered in this father and son golf tournament? No, never mind me. What's up with you, pal? What's going on with you and Kelly? People are talking. Yeah, well, people have empty, squalid lives, Steve. Come on, Brandon. Confess, deny, show me a secret video, a Polaroid, anything. It's just politics, man. She helps me out with the task force, and that's all that's on the agenda. I am sorry to hear that, man. I was hoping you were a better politician than that. Well, it looks like your task force accomplished its mission. Yeah, and you know, the best part for me was how we worked out a national strategy with the other schools. Dylan didn't mind you going off with Kelly? Well, why should he? I mean, they're not an item. Are they? No, Mother. Hi, honey. Hey, Brad. What's that smell? 